Okay, so here we're going to be answering the question, what is a foot-pound? Okay, so essentially this is, let's say this is a pound, I hold it up a foot, boom, one foot-pound of energy slammed into my cupboard. So essentially a foot-pound of energy is the amount of energy one pound of mass has, the amount of potential energy one pound of mass has at one foot of height. Um, that's obviously taking into account a th in theoretical vacuum um, and earth gravity. So if you're on a diff different planet, that doesn't count. So um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now you already know what a foot pound is, but we are gonna dive in a little bit deeper just so uh, you understand kind of where it's come from. So essentially a foot pound uh, is not to be confused with torque. Um, normally a foot pound of torque is if you have, let's say a wheel and you have a lug nut, and this is one pound, uh, one foot of distance, and you apply one pound of pressure here, that is a foot pound of torque. That is not what we're talking about today. We're talking about a foot pound of energy. Uh, energy. Okay. Um, a foot pound of energy. So energy can be measured in all sorts of different things. You've probably heard of watt hour. You've probably heard of that because you pay for it in your bills. You've heard of joules if you've ever taken like a physics class. Then we have our foot pounds. Um, there's like British thermal units. Uh, we have calories. Uh, and so on and so forth. So there's a gajillion different ways of measuring energy. Um, the standard, uh, well, the unit that's typically used in the metric system is joules. And that, uh, honestly, from an engineering point of view, that makes life easier just because, you know, metric and calc math makes life a little easier. But there's all these other measurements that are still used. So um, essentially, in energy, it's just amount of energy to do something. So with a joule, it's the amount of energy it takes for uh, to heat one uh, cubic centimeter of water by one degree Celsius. Uh, that just happens to be. So a foot pound, like I explained to you at the very beginning, is if we have one pound of mass, we elevate that by one foot, and then the amount of potential potential energy in this mass here is one foot pound um if you've probably if you've ever taken a physics class you've seen the equation potential energy equals to mass times gravity to times height uh, this will get our answer in joules but one mass this is typically in kilograms gravity uh, that's going to be a constant of 9.8 meters per second squared and then height uh, we're going to this is typically in meters so if we um, run the numbers here, one kilogram converted to pounds, that's going to be about 4.54 times our 9.8 times our foot in meters, which is, uh, times, which is going to be 3.3048. That gives us our potential energy of 1.35 joules. And if you uh, go to an online calculator of foot pounds, to joule calculator, you'll get this exact thing, that one foot pound is equal to 1.35 joules. Imagine that, I can even show you that. One foot pound, boom, 1.35 joules. I rounded, of course. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That is what a foot pound of energy is. So when we're talking bullets, hauling butt, hitting something like a target, like my Caldwell AR500, um, steel targets they are rated to 3,000 foot-pounds uh, of energy max hitting it so that would be equivalent to having something 3,000 pounds something like I don't know a car I can't draw a car um, being raised by one foot and then it smashing something uh, which is, as you can imagine, a lot of energy. So the the, the question is why they're used as well. Um, honestly, I looked high and low on the internet and nobody freaking knows why it's used. That just happens to be what it's used. But you could equivalently use some other form like jewels or watt hours or something like that. But if you do, people in the firearms community would look at you funny because typically energy is measured not in jewels, but in foot pounds for bullets. And that's the way it is. It's the way it is. It's just kind of like shotgun gauge and stuff like that. That makes no sense. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And um, if you have any questions on foot pounds and what they are, then put in the comments below. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Let's say this is a pound. I hold up a foot. 